You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days of Our Lives fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I want to talk about an interesting new twist in this baby storyline, and it's all about how Leo Stark might be the unlikely hero that heals Nicole Walker's broken heart by getting her son back in her hands and away from baby-stealing Sloan Peterson. We're going to talk about this, but first, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Now let's dig in. So right now, as we go into Tuesday morning before the Tuesday Days episode. Nicole's feeling great. She really thinks those DNA test results are going to go her way, but I can tell you 100% they are not. Sloan is going to make a fool of herself and then have to backtrack like she's moonwalking after Nicole reads the results and has to admit she was wrong. Well, I think she'll admit that she thinks Sloan rigged it and she wasn't wrong and then I think eventually she'll have to come back around to admitting she was wrong. Of course, she's not. When Sloane first showed up to the hospital, she tried to tell Eric it's not cool because she didn't consent to the DNA test on her newly adopted son. But Eric already has the results in hand and we're going to see Nicole snatch them before Sloane can say or do anything. And before she opens them, Nicole's going to get up in Sloane's face and tell her it's about to be over and I'm going to get my baby back, you know, and all kinds of nasty smack talk. And then, wah, 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 no joy for Nicole. The results are going to say, that's not her kid. The results are wrong, but Sloane is going to have to backpedal on why she was fighting so hard to stop the results from being read, but I think she can just say she doesn't like having an important parenting decision taken out of her hands, you know, by Eric. So Eric may apologize to her and say, yeah, I should have checked with you, but he's going to say, I just really wanted Nicole to have peace of mind. It's not that big a deal. Now it's over. And then of course, Sloane's going to have to wonder who saved her bacon. It can really only be one of two people, slimy Dr. Pierce or sneaky Melinda Trask. My money's on the bad doc, but we'll see. Meanwhile, Dimitri von Leuchner knows that Sloan has Nicole's baby and he has now turned himself into the Salem PD so they will let little Leo Stark go. Dimitri's going to be shipped off to Statesville, according to official Days spoilers. Once Leo's released out of custody, he's going to make a beeline to the prison to get the rest of the story from his imprisonment present honey bum because before Dimitri was taken from the police department and shipped off to Statesville, he had just enough time to tell Leo Nicole's little boy is indeed alive. And of course, Leo is so relieved. He sees himself as this little tyke's kind of guardian because he delivered the little boy and they had this bonding experience on the side of the road. So Leo's really curious about the fact that the The baby he was told was dead is actually alive and he can't wait to hear more. So at Statesville, official spoilers say Dimitri tells Leo that Sloan set up the fake death and adoption of Nicole's little boy. Leo is stunned, but he can see how this twist of fate could benefit them. I mean, right now, both Leo and Dimitri know Sloane's dirty baby secret. So that means she'll have to fight twice as hard to defend Dimitri and try to get him out of prison. And of course, Dimitri knows blackmail is the best way to use this leverage they have over her. But Leo, poor Leo, is having a crisis of conscience per official spoilers from Soap Digest. Of course, he doesn't want Dimitri to rot in prison. That hunk is the love of his life. But Leo really, really hates the idea of Nicole and her son being kept apart from each other and Nicole grieving the loss of a baby who is still alive. So... Friday, December 8th, is when Dimitri should reveal Sloane's scheme because that day, official spoilers say Leo is stunned by something Dimitri tells him. And then of particular interest are a couple of spoilers for the following week, the week that starts December 11th. Leo heads straight to Nicole after leaving the prison, but will he tell her? I think Leo is going to head to the Demera mansion intending to do the right thing, but I think a few things might get in the way. If EJ's there, he may 
may brag about, oh, I'm going to send your boyfriend to prison for life. So that's a huge reason to not rat out Sloan to Nicole. And second, Leo shouldn't drop this bombshell without Dimitri agreeing to the plan because it puts Dimitri at risk for decades in prison for attempted murder. He is not going to like it if Leo goes rogue. So I I don't think Leo is going to follow through. Maybe he's just going to make it out like he's just there to give his condolences. But there are other spoilers for next week that relate to the story as well. Leo lets Sloan know that he knows the big secret. And while they're talking on the phone, Sloan has to get off the call and she leaves baby Jude alone for just a minute. And it may be a minute too long because another spoiler for the week says there's a baby kidnapping, but it's just short term. So there's two babies in Salem. One is Victoria, Sarah and Xander's daughter. The other is Jude, Eric and Nicole's bio baby. So which of them gets snatched? Baby Victoria has already been taken once, thanks to Constantine and Teresa, but Constantine may arrange another fake kidnapping to take the heat off him with Patch if he thinks that would work. I mean, maybe. Or maybe Nicole can't stop obsessing over little Jude and she grabs the tot, but then thinks better of it and brings him back. Or maybe someone catches her and makes her return the baby. I tend to think it's going to be Nicole and not, you know, Victoria, baby Victoria. I think it's going to be Nicole's baby. So just because of the spoiler about Sloan leaving Jude alone for just a minute, that really shouldn't matter unless something happens to him. So, but then with the baby kidnapping, it all just seems to align. That would allow time enough for Nicole to sneak in, grab the baby, run off. So of course, we'll have to wait next week to see what baby gets snatched and by whom, but the rest of the spoilers are pretty clear. Nicole's going to be crushed by these DNA results. Of course, EJ was expecting them, and so was Eric, because both of them think she's being hormonal and just grief-stricken while claiming Sloan and Eric's baby was really their kid. So I think EJ is going to press Nicole to move on, but she may be heading into a spiral instead. But you never know. In the end, it could be little Leo who's the key to Nicole getting her precious baby boy back. We'll just have to wait and see. Let me know what you think. Drop your comments below. How long do you think this stolen baby story is going to go on? And were you expecting the DNA test to come out and reveal the truth and it all to end this week? I didn't think it was going to happen, not for a minute. So be sure to click subscribe if you haven't already. And definitely drop your comments below on this twisted plot and come back soon. Because as always, we are here talking days, seven days a week. And this has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thanks for dropping in. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 